So what are the odds this just goes horribly? <laughs> because bow hunting on New England doesn't seem like a good idea. We do have a sidearm as a backup, and I didn't feel like trying to change our arrows just to shoot a rabbit. So it's kind of in case we find a level 9 bobcat, kind of in case we don't kill anything for like 30 minutes. But I'm super excited for archery season to be here. It feels like a dream. Like, it's not actually October yet, but it is. So, uh, what better way to celebrate than bow hunting on what is the closest map to where I hunt in real life? New England Mountains. If we kill anything good today, I will be kind of surprised. So, all three animals gonna get spo spooked? I mean, we're gonna spook way more than three. <laughs> Smoked? Maybe. What's up, Mel? Internet problems. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm off work today. Nice, Hunter. What's going on, Soup? Martin's in here as well. I see Winner's coming back with the 31 months. Welcome back. Big hey, good vibes for a hunting season. Thank you, man. I'll tell you what, as far as, like, our whole family is concerned, starting off much better than last year. My brother smoked a doe Saturday night, so he got that on film. That video will be out eventually. Uh, we are doing in-season videos this year, so by eventually, I mean in the next couple of weeks. So that's pretty exciting. Obviously, if you guys are following on the Instagrams, you will have already seen that. The Godin map? We'll see if Little shows up, because every time I talk trash about New England, she's here. Already tagged out in real life, what the heck? I take it your season probably opens sooner than ours. First time going boning in four years because of college? So excited, that's awesome, man. Hopefully you've uh, had plenty of opportunity to practice over the offseason. So, I brought the range finding site, mostly because I don't think we're going to get close to a lot of stuff today. Can I see what I'm doing, though? Because <laughs> this could be a problem. Would love to be hunting right now, but my first child decided to come a little bit early. Well, you know, priorities, right? Okay. Alright, that went poorly. Running my bobcat line tonight, nice. I feel like there's a little bit of a crosswind. Nope, maybe shooting a fox 100 meters away wasn't a good idea. It's our youth season, oh, okay, I gotcha. Let's get down to here. Whitetail should start drinking soon, which will be a little bit of something we'll take more seriously. Every time I go home, I shoot at least 50 arrows a day. Nice, that's the way to do it. I kind of, I don't know, I, I think it was with the Kentucky trip we did and just everything that was going on in the lead up to that. I'm really not sure what happened, but at some stage it's my bow started kind of performing funny. It ultimately was a timing issue with my drop away rest. But um, in what, the three days leading up to archery, I must have shot like 500 shots completely, like my shoulder still hurts. So, uh, much better to do 50 a day and not three days before the season be like, oh my god, it's still not shooting right. What's up, K-Flo? I wish for a flinter stream. Holy! Oh god, how did I do that? Guess what we're not going to shoot with a bow today? Quail. Big meal! Wish bow hunting was legal in my country? As I understand it, a lot of countries where bow hunting is not currently legal, there are, like, a lot of people actually working to try to legalize it. Cause a lot of okay. Thank you. Oh, that looked good. Smoked him. <laughs> okay, can't hit a great fox standing still. Black bear on the run at 60 meters, no big deal. How does the internet problems affect mobile data? Honestly, I find that watching live streams, Twitch is worse than YouTube. But I find that watching live streams on mobile data does not tend to go particularly well. Made it to one of your streams. I love your voice and your videos. Well, thank you. Glad you can make it on in. Lung and liver shot. 64 meters away. Not bad. I wish for a Flinter football stream so we could talk about the Bills ripping up the Dolphins. I didn't see that coming. I do. I wish I had, like, an extra couple of hours every week just, just to do a Flinter football stream. I would just screw around, do Madden challenges, whatever. Maybe this week, because I don't think I'm going to hunt as much as I had originally planned. It's pushing 80 degrees every day, which is just a little too warm. So up until Thursday, I'm not sure if I'll go out again. But at the same time, I have a lot of stuff I want to get done around here. Like the grass needs mowed one more time before fall. I need to get heating oil here, which I should have done, but the price keeps going up. Ugh. Settings? Uh, what you looking for? Just graphic settings? 
If we go to video, you've got all that right there. You can see I'm not playing on Max. Uh, the PC I have at the moment can't quite handle Call of the Wild on Max and also record. It runs Call of the Wild on Max okay, but if I'm recording, I start to get some lag, streaming, same thing. I think I was the only person in I know who picked the Bills. So I was leaning towards the Bills when I looked at the matchup. I thought, you know, like, the Dolphins aren't going to score 70 points. It's a rivalry game. It was close both times last year. But I felt like if I picked the Bills after the Dolphins scored 70 points and then the Dolphins scored, you know, 49 on the Bills and win 49 to 21 or something, I was just going to feel stupid. And it was almost, it, what was it, 48 to 20? It was like the exact inverse of that. <laughs> Broncos country, holy crap, we got to win. I saw... <laughs> I saw some posts about the Broncos' defense, which I think were actually more of an indictment on Justin Fields. It was like, Broncos' defense last week give up 70 points. Broncos' defense this week, two passing touchdowns from Justin Fields. Like, did you just equate scoring 70 points to Justin Fields throwing two touchdown passes? But, uh, you know, in the end, Justin Fields did some Justin Fields things. It really wasn't all on him, but that fumble and then the pick to lose it weren't exactly good. I picked the Bills. Bills are my favorite team, even though I'm from Iowa. I'll give you that for uh, for picking them, because I'm not going to lie. As a Steeler fan, I don't think I'm picking the Steelers next week. They look like garbage. So bad. And I, Matt Canada is a problem. The defense isn't quite where it should be. Kenny Pick is missing reads. I kind of don't know how much of that is on him, because I. you see the ability in it. And then there's just this aspect of, like, it looks like he's sort of, what would be the right word? He, he's not, it's not that he's trying to avoid mistakes. He throws plenty of interceptions. But it's almost like he tries to do the play that was called and doesn't look at any other reads. Uh, what's up, pizza? I heard about said five-star white tail. Congrats, man. That's awesome. After the Cowboys fiasco last week, they showed up this week. Who did they play? I watched the game. Uh, boy. Patriots. Yeah, I thought that was going to be closer than it was. That was a blowout. <laughs> Hi, Beans. Where in Iowa are you from? I was reading somebody else's uh, thing. I am from Pennsylvania, not from Iowa. I'm also not from Florida, Soup, but I appreciate your uh, attempt at a compliment. He's not allowed to change the play. I'm a massive Steelers fan. It's been tough to watch. There's that, too. It feels like... I don't know, man. I don't get why Pat Fryermuth isn't more involved. The thing that kills me is Najee had, like, 15 rushes for 70-some yards. They gash him two plays in a row and then run run some kind of dumb play behind the line of scrimmage. Like, something slow to develop. Their offensive line's not that good. Lose eight yards. Drives over. Every time. Every drive. It, <laughs> it's so frustrating. What's up, Bree? Hey, what's going on, Hunter, man? Good to see you, dude. I did, in fact, get no Blurry Tomlin this week. Hunter Man sends me a blurry picture of Mike Tomlin every time they win. That one of the Steelers' records really gonna haunt them? I mean, if they beat the Ravens next week, which, the, the, here's the only thing that I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe there's hope. This, the team under Tomlin has been known to look ahead and lose to an inferior opponent. They've done it the most notable time was, I remember Mike Mitchell was their safety. They lost to the Patriots like week 15. They make the playoffs anyway. I think they won the wild card matchup. And then Mike Mitchell was talking about playing the Patri Patriots again in the championship and lost to the Jags in the divisional round. They've done stuff like that a lot. Like Ravens week is two weeks away and they lose to the Jets or the Lions or somebody like that. So I kind of wonder if they're still going to play good this week, and if they would beat the Ravens, they'd be first place in the division again. Um, but I don't know how they're going to keep it. It's hot here, I'm blaming you. It's also hot here, I'm not going to lie. Warmer than I would like. Every play looks the same. Yeah, there's not a lot of creativity there. We complain about it every week. Like, you know, the Steelers come out, three and out on offense, and then the next drive, whoever their opponent is, like, four or five passes for 15 yards, guys are wide open. It's like, why can't we do that? <laughs> Scheme somebody open, please. 
No one okay. shall fear it. Oh my. What if you died? God, that scared me. It sounded like the... Like the uh, mission voice, like through the radio. We're at MPA, you're from Williamsport? I'm like West Central PA. I, I typically don't get too more uh, specific than that. How hot is it there in Minnesota? It's 80? My thing says 75. I, I wouldn't be shocked if it's 78, though. It feels hotter than that to me. The world's too hot for October? The annoying thing is, like... What was it? Uh, last... What day did I spend a bunch of time shooting my bow? Last Tuesday? It was like... 58 degrees is the high. It just keeps going back and forth. Man, Clark, I wish they went for two. Because I feel like that was the, the play at that moment. To go for two and try to just win the game there. My brother... My brother wasn't paying any attention to the game. But his wife whose best friend is an Eagles fan, wanted the Commanders to win because it's just that kind of like PA team rivalry thing. And both of us were like, just go for two, win the game. And then they kick it, and it's like, what did you think was going to happen? The Eagles are just good. If you're the inferior team and you tie it on the last play of the game, go for two. It just feels like the only move. Okay, I thought that was going to work. Where did that hit? I don't even see it. Oh, no, there it is. Maybe a touch low? It'll be hard to get closer than that where he's at. What are your thoughts on the Commander's name controversy? Uh, I don't particularly like the name Commander's, but I don't think they should go back. Even though there's, like, a Native American group or something that wants them to go back to that name, it just feels like, you know, it's probably too late to, to do something like that now. Just when we were going to go for a shot. Between his toes, maybe. Now we got to shoot between a tree. Okay. Wind's a little left. What are the odds we hit a tree? We didn't hit him. <laughs> Way left. Okay, it's the wind then. All right, we can do this. Um, I don't know why that alert's not coming through. I tested them earlier. They should be working. But Shade Sarnellis, thank you so much for the super chat. Really, really appreciate the support. I was trying to wait for that to go through so that it could be on screen, but I'm not sure why it's being big late. Anyway, just wanted to say thanks for being a great distraction in my overly stressful existence. It's my pleasure. Any, any, uh, opportunity to help out with stuff like that, more than happy to. Doing a lever action only hunt, and it's very fun. 4570 is surprisingly accurate and hits decently hard, especially at close ranges. Yeah, we did that one on Parquet that was, was actually a lot of fun. Okay, well he turned right when we shot, but clearly we're just not <laughs> gonna get this. What's up, Hunter? There's the super chat alert. Thank you again, Shadestorm. I really, really appreciate the support. Glad the alert actually worked, too. I always feel bad when they... Don't work. Alright. Now it feels like the wind's not pushing it? How in the world? <laughs> What's happening? It looks like it's going all... <laughs> Hold on. Can we see the bank... I guess it's not showing all the arrows. I kept seeing an impact right behind him. I don't know. Gameplay and interface settings? I... Oh, gameplay settings. Like this stuff? Uh, interface? I don't know that... I have anything changed other than some track colors. Let's go to some lakes that we can, like... <laughs> shoot across. What's up, Zaggy? Thank you for the 57 months. Welcome back. That alert I know is not going to work, because... YouTube and memberships just hates me. It refers to... A, I'm not even going to say it because YouTube will ban me. It refers to a group of Native American warriors who actually painted their faces red. It's actually respectful. So the, the particular group that wants to see that name come back. I guess they're aware of that, but I feel like nobody else is. 
Longest ever vital hit with a bow. Uh, we... Last week we did something kind of like this. We were shooting some crocodiles on Emerald Coast. We got some that were in the area of 150 meters. It's all about the wind, really. Like, if the wind is fine, it's not terribly hard to do with the bow. I can't say I've shot further than 150 effectively. I can remember going for some shots, but I have no clue if it ever worked. Is a 508 Diamond Kangaroo good or average? I'd say like a, a bit above average. 57 months. Holy. Many 12 months must be destined with the great 12s. Imagine 120 months. You know, actually, that just kind of scared me to think that that's more than double. <laughs> it's a long time yet. People be ignorant? I mean, to be fair, I also was. I didn't know. Any reason you play on metric system? Um, so basically, if, if you're unaware of the Hunter Classic, that was kind of the predecessor to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And there's a max weight. Rabbit track. Um, a lot of the weights and stuff for species that are in both games stayed the same. So whitetail, max weight, Roosevelt elk, moose, uh, black bear. I think all the Hirschfelden species too, roe deer, red deer, wild boar. And as they added more species, there were more that still fell in line. So, um, because I already knew all the required max weights, or, you know, I knew what all the max weight estimate tracks would be from playing Classic for all those years, it was just easier for me to stay in metric because, you know, finding a max weight track in Call of the Wild is a big deal. It's a potential diamond and stuff like that. So that's why I, I play in metric. If that hit, I'll be shocked. Oh my God, it did. <laughs> The shots were hitting are really dumb. The shots we're missing should be hitting. Is Way of the Hunter worth it? If you're if you're looking for a fairly true to life, authentic hunting experience, then yes. If you're someone who's maybe not as patient, or if you're just looking for, you know, something kind of fast paced, Way of the Hunter's probably not for you. I love it. If I had more time to put into it, I'd probably play it even more than I do. But, you know. Trying to balance everything, classic Call of the Wild, Way the Hunter. We were talking about Cabela's, is it Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts, I think, in my Discord a little bit today? Kind of jokingly, but I got to thinking about it. I've never actually played the game. I know a lot of people wanted me to play it forever ago. I might mess around and even play that fairly soon, too, for a little series. Probably like a short series, or rather long videos, only a couple of episodes kind of series. What's your dream IRL hunt? Caribou in Alaska. Ideally with a bow, but, you know, if the if the opportunity came up and it was gun only, I'm not going to skip out on it. We were also talking about how you tapped on a Kagara Rake. Yeah, 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 that. I remember that. Nightbot dead? Dude, I don't know, like, the alerts are late, Nightbot's dead. I think YouTube's just on its way out. Better not be. Pro Hunts is a W game? You know, I I'm looking... I do own it, right? I remember I bought it because Cabela's games were about to go off of Steam. When did I get it? Good lord, 2017? It says I can install it. And I want to say the game came out in like 2012 or something like that. For that era, it holds up decently well. I wouldn't say it necessarily holds up against, you know, Call of the Wild Classic Way the Hunter, but it's, it's right around there. Basically, you know, I, I've done a lot of throwback games as early as 98, I think, in terms of hunting games. And it definitely, you know, it looks like you're hunting a moose or a caribou or a white-tailed deer, whatever it is. Maybe not as well as these other games, but I think it looks good enough to have fun with it. Did you see Zach Wilson's transform transformation? I did. Because Donna Kelsey was in the stands is what I heard. How does he have any whitetail I've killed? For whatever reason, um, Call of the Wild doesn't specifically track, like, individual species uh, statistics. They just track, like, overall. So obviously, I'm sure you know this, you can see your total number of kills, but you don't have per species. So if you're talking about, like, on a whitetail grind, paying attention to how many whitetail kills you have, you just have to count them, which is annoying. I, I really wish, because Classic does it. You know, Classic does a lot of things right, but... I can look and see exactly how many white tailed deer I've, tra I've killed in however many years of classic now. 13? 13 this month, actually. Hey, thank you, Dylan. 
I'm impressed with how long we've had an NFL chat going and no one has brought up the infamous duo. Kyle has been thinking it the whole time. <laughs> Over there smiling. <laughs> It, I mean, they ended the broadcast last night. Mike Tirico did with uh, what three lines of a Taylor Swift song, which actually I don't even know what song it is, but it's I mean it's literally the whole pregame show, everything. They're just quoting Taylor Swift as much as they can. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. I start my field research in the next two weeks, seeing if local gray and red foxes and maybe coyotes have prey preferences. Any predictions? Well, I bet they do. Like, one thing that maybe not everybody would immediately think of, but we saw this firsthand with deer on Saturday. If they have a choice between corn and apples, they're going to the apples first. Every time. And I don't think everybody would think that. A lot of people would think, like, deer... Their favorite food is corn. I, I would even say some deer are going to go to acorns first. But anyway, I would bet predators are the same. Uh, that didn't sound right. It's going to get it, but it didn't sound like a solid hit. Eh, he's going down. We'll see. Shadestorm, thanks for becoming a shoesty as well. I really appreciate that. If you're not already in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube and get the shoesty roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the emojis and green name in chat. It is, in fact, a marketing tactic, but I have seen, and I think they're right. A lot of people saying, like, most Taylor Swift fans aren't going to be watching the NFL, like, religiously or anything in six months. Now, they're selling a bunch of Travis Kelsey jerseys and stuff like that, and I'm sure a lot of Chiefs stuff in general. So, is it a good marketing tactic? I guess. But I'm not sure... They're going to lose a few people over it. Probably not enough for it to matter, but there's definitely some people that are going to get annoyed into just not watching. Did Pacheco do a Taylor Swift dance? They cut away from his celebration immediately to, to Taylor. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what he did. What's up, Chase? No Troby says it yet. Um, had a couple of interesting shots and... Um, a few shots that we should have hit that we haven't, but nothing big. 400% sales bump in Kelsey jerseys? Yeah, that's that's the part of it where, even in the short term, I guess it does make sense. Oh, nice pizza. Was that 28 million cash? Yes. When will you play the Hunter Classic again? I'm thinking the next Classic video is going to be Wednesday. So tomorrow's video is going to be the montage, which I've already talked about the montages. Was it on Twitch last Friday? Um, this year is going to be the last year for like monthly montages. There's still going to be the end of the year one, but I want to finish out the year. So there's this one plus three more yet. Um, but anyway, the montage is going to be tomorrow. And then I think Classic video Wednesday. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do just yet. We'll see. I don't want to do elk again. I feel like I'm doing elk so much right now, but the nice thing is with the new trophy lodge, it's not as one-dimensional in terms of what we want to go for now. Derrick Henry threw, threw his fourth touchdown and is 7 out of 8 in the air. And I had him on the bench in fantasy. I actually won my fantasy matchup, which my team has been a mess. But even though I did not play Derrick Henry, and even though Devontae Williams had three points before he got hurt, and even though Mike Williams had seven points before he got hurt, I was projected to lose by like 30. Still gonna pull it off. Mostly because Nico Collins killed the Steelers, which was unfortunate, but silver lining, I guess. Uh, you should set up a tree stand in a cornfield on New England sometime. That could be kind of fun. Like if there's a specific deer zone or something I can hunt over. Just find a level five Rocky. There you go. Your team has been better than my team? I'm, well, I, to this point, you were my only win, but I am going to beat Acid this week, so I'll be 2-2. Two two. Do you have any tips for more rares? Uh, I mean, rares are entirely just luck-based. I would just, like, the more things you shoot, 
the more chance something respawns as a rare. So I would just shoot pretty much everything you see. Got way the hunter today. There you go. Fleeing where? Just that little fella. Or fillet. <laughs> I meant to do that. I definitely tried to headshot that deer and not the raccoon. Uh, did you see the release date on the pack? Uh, what's that? The the Styra one? Little fillet, all right. Uh, do you think Waterfowl will be out of the Red Feather Falls? I can't imagine they would change it at this stage. Accidentally on purpose? I want to see where it is. I thought we hit, aimed plenty high enough to clear it. It's the 10th? Oh, really? So a week from tomorrow? Nice. Not only did we aim too low, we're like through the bottom of the brain. So to hit the raccoon, we had to be way higher than that, but accidental kill, we'll take it. The wind's blowing north, so why don't we go like down, um, which way do we want to go? Yeah, let's go down here and just go up the creek. Should give us more chances to actually get bow shots. Got Phil and deer tags on his mind, it is in the title, basically. People always bench Henry way too early because they think he's washed. So I benched Henry because the... Bengals defense played good last week and the Titans have here's basically how the Titans work if I pick them to win their offense does nothing if I pick them to lose they're putting up 20 on average like 26 points a game I think I believe I picked them twice to win and twice to lose I have been right one of those wrong three times <laughs> but uh yeah I, I just thought the Bengals defense was going to play him better who plays tonight this is the last week for two games if I'm not mistaken the Giants play tonight I know that I don't even know who they play and I don't know the other game Kyle is pouring her vodka over there ever finished a fallow grind yes that was the last great one grind we actually did 6,134 kills I think to get our great one are you going to hunt this afternoon? Probably not this afternoon. Kyla's thinking about going. Um, it's going to be pretty darn toasty for a couple of days. So my plan is actually just to get some of the, like, you know, last minute fall stuff done. For instance, I might still hunt tomorrow at Mom and Dad's. We'll see. But I think, like, the grass needs mowed one more time before fall slash winter and stuff like that. I'm probably going to try to get that done while I have the chance. Do you like college football? Um... I don't necessarily seek it out to watch it, but I enjoy it when it's on. Saw a big buck on Saturday. Nice. Burrow has been injured since preseason, and now Higgins is too. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for the Bengals. Because their backup quarterback situation is not good. Think it's only Giants and Seahawks? I thought there was... Maybe there's just another week generally with two Monday night games. That is infuriating to watch. Like, it's 2023, everyone has the ability to put both games on on separate monitors if they want to watch it, but even still, ESPN insists on doing a split screen for half the game. How do you see what Star and Animal is in Wade the Hunter? Um, so you have to have the Hunter sense on. And when you do, if you have your binocular reticle over the animal leave it there for a second and it'll spot it and show you in the top right the species the star rating the age i think maybe just those three didn't the Bengals look er if you last early season yeah but not like this um burrow still played pretty well they went 0-2 and, and then basically i don't know like 10 and 3 the rest of the way? 10 and 2 the rest of the way? I'm trying to math how many games they won. I can't remember the record, but um, 
the burrow calf injury he can't get settled their offensive line looks bad i don't know seems i missed a big male dono indeed shade storm was super generous out here what's going on bottom boy excuse me sir i called to you Really? Joe's doing a lot of pain once he's healed. I'm sure it'll turn around. But he's... Like, the thing is, he's not going to heal much, at least, if he keeps playing every week. One of these weeks, he's going to re-aggravate it again like he did week two. And he's just going to be back to square one. Like, honestly, I don't think they should have played him at all to start the season. And I think they could still be one and three anyway, and he might be able to come back, like, next week. Didn't miss anything good? Uh, nothing to speak of. Couple of wild shots. You think it'd be cool if White doesn't call the wild could have kickers and drop times? Yeah, that's something that I think when True Rex came out, a lot of us expected, because classics True Rex do have stuff like that. But, um... If you look at classic True Rex, and especially the kickers and stuff on classic True Rex, you do get a lot of kind of Play-Doh molded tines look and I think that's where Call of the Wild struggles is like not making it look like that. Recovering from yesterday, Cowboys win and a 150 burger for my fantasy team gave me quite the big head. <laughs> yeah, you that was you and Aaron both had like the highest scoring teams in the league and naturally you played each other. See if we can okay. See if we can hard shot him. Nice. That was like faster than the health drops on a 300 shot. Wonder what the next weight hunter map is because they covered most of the fan favorites. What direction would make sense for them to go in? Right through the front of the heart, by the way. I mean, there's still a lot of places they could do, but Alaska and Africa are obviously, like, the top two everybody kind of asks for. They do mountains so well, like Ibex or uh, Marco Polo Sheep. Just think of a species not mapped so much. Something like that could be really, really good. Think he's still got Kenneth Walker left. Oh, I didn't know that. Greenland for my Muskox map? I don't think Way the Hunter could do muskox well based on, like, the fur textures on bison and stuff. Bow shooting? Yeah, we're, we're literally going for the vibes today. Gotta be the same one we got a track of. We do have a sidearm, though. Dobbs, Purdy, and Stroud are the only QBs that haven't thrown a pick. I'm, like, so happy for Josh Dobbs. I always liked him as a Steeler. I never understood, and I'm sure, like, you know, the team saw him in practice every day. So I'm sure there was a reason, but I never understood why Mason Rudolph was the number two and Dobbs was the number three. And I want to say the reason he was ever kept around was because Roethlisberger liked his input on, you know, come to the sideline, hey, what'd you see, stuff like that. Um, but he went to Cleveland, he didn't, he, maybe he got to play one game or something? And then he had that last game of the regular season start against the Jags for the Titans. He's looked good through, what is it, four games now? They're one and three, but it's the Cardinals. If he were on a lot of other teams with his performances, they'd be at least three and one. Are there any teams still undefeated? Uh, Niners, Eagles. Is that it? There's one more, I think. Do you hunt in real life? Yes. Uh, in fact, I self-filmed my hunts, so there's 50 plus videos on this channel of my real life hunting adventures, and basically, the 2023 videos are going to start up sometime in the next couple weeks. I have one video left over from 2022 I'm going to try to get out as far as on this channel next week. I'm hoping to get it out on the Meat Hunters channel this Friday. We'll see if that actually happens, but assuming I can do that, it should be out on the Meat Hunters channel Friday, and then this channel Tuesday. They were hiding really good. Mahomes has thrown so many picks so far, I'm nervous for the first time in five years. 
he has been a little more like careless. Which the one against the lions wasn't his fault. That was all KT, but Dolphins? Undefeated? Uh no, they lost the Bills this week. That's it? Okay. I was thinking there were two AFC teams and the Dolphins had lost. Now that would be it. Huh. Managed to make a video on a skull night. Nice. Biggest here you've shot? Uh, speaking of cell filming hunts, there is a video of it on the channel, but... That guy right there, this was... About... What, two months after I actually bought the, the house and the property? Got him on trail camera literally that day. Pure luck, like, I call him Lucky14 for a reason. He was a 14 point, and 75% of it was luck. There's a couple of, what would you call it, strategic decisions going all the way back to September when I got the place that I think were important in it, but at the end of the day, a huge amount of luck. He was 180 and 6'8's gross score. Small male versus big male. I think that's what Rack said when I, when I posted it. Nice. Too bad I couldn't keep him spotted. Do we have a chance of killing two? Oh, he turned. I don't know. A little late. What map? Uh, New England Mountains. It's the closest thing to what I hunt in real life, so I'm hunting in Pennsylvania. Similar area of the US, at least. We used to do Layton for videos like this, but Layton's the complete other side of the country, so... This is the best we have. What? Oh my god, that's the wrong arrows. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Good thing that wasn't a level 3. Uh, what brand of bow is yours? The bow I'm using this year is a Dart and Veracity. I really like it. I'm... So this, this really started going back to 2020. I shot a 35 inch, actually I think it was 34 inch axle to axle bow. Basically, you know, a lot of hunting bows now are in that 32, 33 range. The reason I like a slightly longer axle to axle is they're just more forgiving. I don't shoot with perfect form and I know that. I should work to correct it, but it's one of those like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of things. But it's just more forgiving to, you know, little form imperfections, stuff like that. That long, longer axle to axle gives you a little more stability. So the veracity is 35 inch axle to axle. And I'm, j I'm just a huge fan of bows like that. It's a little louder than the Spectre that I shot last year that was also a Darton. But I find typically longer axle to axle bows are a bit louder. Uh, Orlando, thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. That alert should go through. There we go. Been a little bit delayed today. I appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing well. Did you see Flare's bug? I did not. What do you think the next Call of the Wild map will be? I, I don't know that this is as much a prediction as it is a hope, but I really want to see Greenland. I don't know if you were in here, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes ago we talked about it a bit. I just think Muskox would be awesome in this game. I'm kind of, you know, putting them in the same tier as Bison. Probably not something that would be terribly difficult to hunt, but just fun to chase around. It's rare that we go on a bison hunt and don't have a good time. But the other things you could put on that map... I forgot there's pheasants here. Um, Arctic wolves, Arctic fox, you could do snowshoe hare. Probably a, a grouse of some kind. I think you could put caribou there, and if they did, I would just hope they would do brand new true axe, because the caribou and reindeer true axe are kind of meh. Um, and there's one other one, Wolverine? There's something else we typically talk about. Is there, there a Brazil map? There is a map in South America that's Parque Fernando, but it's not in Brazil. I think it's in Argentina. Orlando, thank you again, by the way. 3.37 in the morning, I'm tired. I don't blame you, that is pretty early. Hey, you're exactly 12 hours ahead of me. 12. Uh, so when Hall of Shame Tour? That's a good question. If I do it, I need to like... You know, take a little bit, go into the lodge, find some of those Hall of Shamers, because what happens is sometimes Hall of Shamers end up like in the thumbnail, or, you know, maybe I, 
maybe it's a hunt where we kill something and tax it for the Hall of Shame, but then later on we kill, you know, a diamond or a rare or something that goes in the main lodge. And typically we don't go to both lodges to end the video. So there's some stuff that should be in that lodge that isn't. I'd have to go through and find all that, but I'd like to do it. I think it'd be fun. Not Orlando, appreciate you stopping in. Thank you for the support as well. Parquet is in Patagonia? Is it really? I was sure it was Argentina. I was going to say Patagonia, but I remember Argentina being a thing somehow. What's the best non-DLC rifle? Non-DLC, probably the 7mm, the break action. Can we caught up on alerts? I think that was that last one coming through. What's the... Oh, I just read that. What's up, ninja? If only I had a shotgun. I do have small game arrows, but I just don't think that's going to work out well. Do you have any tips for a beginner bow hunter in real life? I have a cheap bow from Amazon and really enjoy shooting it. So I kind of got started in a similar way. It was a bow that I bought at a yard sale that at the time was probably 15 years old. Um, got it for 75 bucks. Case, bow, arrows, release, all that. Uh, my biggest tip would just be to shoot it a lot. Um... If you're looking to... You did say bow hunter, alright. Just making sure you weren't talking about target shootings, specifically. If you're looking to hunt with it... I don't know, even this year? I would definitely make sure to put in a lot of practice. Okay, but what if you died? What if you died? Um, but... Assuming you're looking more towards next year... One thing I would definitely say... Is invest in a decent... Probably drop away rest. I personally use QAD. I like their stuff a lot. Hamski makes really good limb-driven rests. But I've always just gone with QAD, and again, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, as far as things that can affect your arrow flight, other than you, your rest is touching the arrow every shot you make, right? So, a good rest is really important. But in terms of just, like, getting better and, and practicing and stuff, a couple of things I like to do. One... This is big for hunting, and I actually had this exact thing happen to me last year when I shot my buck on film. I like to, I'll set a timer on my phone for about 40 seconds, hit start, put my phone in my pocket, clip on my release, draw back, and I'm, I just hold it until the timer goes off. I figure by the time, you know, if I started at 40 seconds, by the time I get to full draw, I'm probably holding back for 33 seconds or something like that. And it, it's amazing how much longer 30 seconds is than you think. If you try to time it out in your head, you count faster than you should. You know, you start like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. When you get up to like 20, you're like 20, 1,000, 21, 22, because your, your arms start to get tired. So set the timer on it so you're really holding back. And then the other thing, if you have multiple targets, I find it really helpful to swap between distances. It's just good mentally if you have a multi-pin sight, that is. It's good mentally to get that like repetition like 20 yards use this pin 30 yards use this pin and so on so far behind in madden and the new season comes out wednesday yeah i i keep seeing so here's the problem like one tweet or x post <laughs> comes up on my feed and i read it and then now i get all the madden things on my twitter x but i keep seeing like there's that i think it's a george pickens card that's a competitive pass like I'm nowhere near that I just my team's 85 overall I'm pretty happy with it but I am nowhere near like getting all the way to the top of the passes things single pin sights really clear the picture it is so like if you're struggling with accuracy or struggling with all the pins single pin is really helpful I I've never shot more accurately in my life than with a single pin the thing about if you're hunting with a single pin it can be a little scary, like, you know, stuff happens so fast. Like, the buck that I shot last year in West Virginia, from the time I saw it to the time I was at full draw was probably under 10 seconds. Like, legit, I turned around, saw there was a deer, I had to stand up and turn to my right, and in that motion, like, hold on, I was, I had two trees, so I've got my bow hanging, like, right here on a second tree, and then pretend there's a tree here that I'm in the tree stand. I'm sitting. So I stand, grab my bow off this tree, and turn this way to get my shot, and I'm basically drawn back because he's walking right there. The one thing about single pin sights is 
you do have to move that pin to the correct yardage. As long as you have time for that, it's the best. I had a single pin sight in 2020, shot three does with it. Um, that's the most deer I've ever killed with a bow in one year. It was... I really enjoyed having it. But I'm constantly scared because I hunt, I hunt a lot of like... You know, I do a lot of rut hunting with a bow. And I'm in a lot of spots where the encounters I have are bucks chasing does through. So I just got to be ready. It, it scares me so much to use one, but man, do they do they really clean up accuracy. Best map for a muley grind? Mm. That's a good question. Rancho's really good. Parquet's good. Silver Ridge Peaks. I'd probably go Silver Ridge, but I wouldn't blame you for going to any of them. You have to adjust if it comes closer. Yeah, I know, like, a lot of people will, uh, like, basically practice with their pin set to 20 and shoot out to 30 and, like, see what the drop and stuff looks like. That's a good thing to do. It's, I'm so, like, worst case scenario type thinker. I just can't bring myself to do it. Like I said, as good as I shoot with a single pin. And who knows, maybe next year I will. I, like, I, we were sponsored by Ultraview. I don't know if they still sponsor us, but the reason that I shot a single pin that year was they were a, a sponsor for us. And I've never shot it, like, 60, 70 yards so well. I know they make, like... I think it's a two or three pin sight that you can move. Something like that would probably be the ideal for me. Looking to get into archery, how should I start? Well... Uh, I guess getting a bow is the the first thing, assuming you don't already have one. I would try to get something inexpensive. You know, if you can get a used bow, that's a really good thing. Like I said, I bought one that likes at a yard sale for 75 bucks. My brother found one not long after that. It was used Bowtech for $150 or something like that. Getting something inexpensive to start out with is really good. And like I said, as far as specific hardware that's really key your rest is probably more important than your sight your release um all the little bells and whistles you know stabilizer i'm not saying don't get those things but if you're going to buy like one high-end piece of equipment get a high-end rest graham thank you for the 53 months by the way welcome back been a while since i made a stream glad you make it in we are on sort of a waterfowl map but unfortunately we don't have a waterfowl weapon today where is this this large cat or small cat based on the weight my bow has a five pin it came with it on and shot shoot decent with it change the pins to be 15 20 25 and so on hard limit on 25 do you find that the pins are like too close together at that i don't know what poundage you're shooting but i can imagine the five yard increments being a little close Did I miss Amelo Whitetail? Congrats. I, I don't know if you said something in the chat about it initially when I was rambling on about bow hunting and stuff, but that's awesome. Oh, okay. How do you feel about Whisker Biscuits? As far as I can tell, they're... Hi there. As far as I can tell, they're pretty reliable. Um, I don't love the idea of something contacting my arrow every time I shoot. I know it's minimal, I know the whole point with the uh, individual whiskers, I guess, is so that that content, contact, is minimal, but it, it just seems like, you know, maybe, maybe not the best thing. A lot of people have used whisker biscuits for a long time with great success. I'm not at all saying you can't shoot effectively with one. I killed my first buck with... I don't even know what kind of rest it was. It was basically like a two-prong little metal thing with rubber caps over the ends of the metal for silence. It, it was terrible. You can be effective with a lot of things. If you're, if you're deciding between a whisker biscuit and a drop away, I'd go drop away, spend the extra little bit of money. If you have a whisker biscuit and you're shooting fine with it, don't change. Have you got a diamond bobcat? No. That's part of the reason I chose New England, though I pretty much picked here because this is the closest thing to where I hunt in real life. A little bit of a left crosswind. But 
he has a little bit of a knowing we're here, so... Every time. We're just off by a little bit. Well, he moved. I think we should stop shooting that far. What's up, the bomb? 312 non-tip mule deer, nice. Were you... I recognize your name. Didn't you have a mellow non-tip? Am I insane? That was kind of unlikely. Love the archer help, but state land here sucks and property so expensive. That it is, unfortunately, and leasing... Leasing can be expensive anymore. You know, people have... As good as it is, like, to see the interest in, in white hunting and archery hunting go up, and as good as it is to see a general... I would say, like... General increase in hunters passing younger bucks and looking for not necessarily size of antlers, but age. There's a... There's an understanding now. You know, le leasing property can be really lucrative. Uh, do you fish along with hunting or just hunting? Um, I do fish, not as much as I would like to. Like, got out a couple of times this year with my fly rod. Caught, I don't know, half a dozen trout or so. Last year, here at our house, we had trout. Like, there's a creek that runs through our front yard. Uh, we had trout in that, so we caught several dozen last year none in it this year and it's like a stock stream however they don't stock this particular part of it so I think somebody caught fish and threw them in there or something like that and we just happened to benefit the first year that we were here but um yeah had there been more fish in the creek right here would have definitely gone out more well poundage do you shoot this year I'm back up to 70 pounds and I say back up because in 2020 I hurt my shoulder I was shooting 75 that year, and I continued to shoot 75 because that was the year that I had the single pin sight. I was talking about being super dialed and, you know, shooting better than I ever had. But it, legitimately, every time I drew back, including the three deer, three times I drew back on deer that I shot, it was like a sharp pain in my shoulder. And for a couple of years, that didn't go away. It, it finally healed up. So I've been shooting 60 some pounds since 2020. This year, I'm back up to 70. I feel good with it, too. It's shoulder doesn't hurt I, I mentioned my shoulder being sore because i shot so much recently but not that sharp pain thing can someone help me with hunter classic what you looking for hey mel that's not me i'm a longtime fan maybe that's why there's somebody that has a big melanistic non-tip on timbergold with i'm almost sure they're the first part of their name is rasmus but either way congrats on the non-tip it's about the size of that 312, too. Oh, Danny's shooting 65? I am surprised then your pins aren't too close, but if you can differentiate, then I wouldn't change your name. That's the same problem I had when I was at 70, now I don't know what to shoot. Like a shoulder injury thing? I mean, I found even... I was shooting like 62, 64, even that was fine. I was one of the trout fish, but there isn't as many trout ponds slash lakes near me. Mostly walleye and pike. I mean, ironically enough, those are a couple of uh, species that I'd love to fish for, so... Go figure. I've been in bodies of water with those, you know, with, with pike and walleye. Like, one time each? Unfortunately, never caught it. Every time we hit a shot, they turn. Favorite whitetail map on Classic? It's gotta be Red Feather Falls. There was a point where it would have been Whiteheart Island. Um, but the problem I found with Whiteheart when they added bobcats is like it directly cut into the whitetail population. I just don't see as many. Think about trying 60. Yeah, I mean, 60 is plenty, you know? 60 is more than enough to kill a deer. Honestly, Danny, you might as well. The other thing that that might help you with just having a three pin sight outside of the obvious like you know less things to focus on less things to get confused by anything like that the way you could set up your pins inside that housing with three pins instead of five pins 
you could potentially, you know, set them higher or lower in the site housing than what you have right now, and that might help you out with certain things. I find that typically if my pins are a little bit lower in the housing than they come, like, you know, standard, uh, I'm a little, I just have an easier time holding on target. How's your day been? It's been good, actually. Uh, I was screwing around in Madden a good bit today because I didn't have to record for tomorrow. I just had a montage. So I kind of just, you know, played around with that. I actually won a Ultimate Team Super Bowl, which I haven't done in a bit. Played, I think I only had two playoff games because I was like five and one regular season anyway. Um, played both playoff games and the Super Bowl in like 15 minutes because people kept quitting immediately. So I'm not going to complain. I also got promoted to Legend which I'm pretty sure is maybe the highest difficulty, so I can't wait to lose every game now. Who's juking your arrows? The deer? Oh. <laughs> they kind of seem like they are. Kill the deer is more about arrow and broadhead setup rather than poundage. It really is. Like Last year, Kyla was shooting something like 45 pounds. This year, she's more around 50. But we've set up her, her arrows with 150 grain broadheads, I forget the insert weight, but it's a, a heavier insert than like what is standard. And the what the FOC stuff, which I don't understand that fully to explain it, but just the energy that's delivering with that extra weight on the front at that poundage. Like I see it even just shooting our broadhead target. Her arrows hit just about as hard as mine, and I'm shooting 75 pounds or 70 pounds rather. Been slacking and just playing Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, playing something else. You gotta, gotta keep the, the mentals fresh. Have you ever used the Grim Reaper broadheads? I have not. We have a VPS. I didn't do anything. Oh, maybe she heard me put my drink down. I don't know. But I've done that 15 times. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, we have a sponsorship with VPA, so I've been shooting their heads for... This is my third year using them, I think? But I almost... I want to say Grim Reaper might be mechanical, right? What type of arrows? Actually, you guys know TK? He was the community manager for Call of the Wild for a long time. It's his... I... I so it's weird because like we have a sponsorship with Hunter's Friend and I think there was a conflict of interest if TK actually owned the company so I think uh, Hunter's Friend Europe bought it but TK makes the arrows they're called Meat Seeker Arrows I'm trying to think how many deer I've shot with them now I shot uh, was I shooting Meat Seekers in 2020? no 2021 was the first year I only shot one I guess I've only shot two of the Meat Seekers so far one buck and one doe but both arrows Flew true, found the mark. Oh, now you're gonna come back and be nice. Oh, shadow, what's going on, Billy? Sat over my food plot that's had every that's had deer in it every morning and evening for the last month, and never saw a deer yesterday. Literally, hunting season in a nutshell. <laughs> my brother planted a food plot um, last year, and he basically had the exact same thing happen. In July, the bladed nine, our main target buck, showed up in it. I mean, does in it every single evening. And then hunting season rolls around. I think they saw a couple deer from the stand throughout the season, but like the first day, same exact thing. No deer in it. He did on the last day of archery have a couple bucks come through, but he wasn't in it. Going to try to catch Sidewinder. Ooh, boy. Good luck. I meant to do that, and I still haven't messed with it. Maybe I will before Wednesday. Does this mean no more classic? Classic streams? Um... So it depends on when I go to West Virginia. But there's going to be at least two more. Plus some random werewolf ones. He sucks to try to get. He really does. Like I love that there's one legitimately difficult one to get. I think that's kind of how Legendary should be. I wish that it didn't work how it does in terms of you know everybody being able to catch him at the same location. I just feel like it should be a completely random thing. But, knowing where he is, knowing that he's in that location, and spending hours, and hours, 
and hours. And not catching them is really frustrating. Got two buck tags and a doe tag this year. Time to get revenge on that herd of seven doe. Nice. They should be rain and spawn. It's frustrating knowing he's there and not getting him when others are. Exactly. Well, part of PA, like West Central. I didn't mean to get the bow, but I guess we're... Ah, so close. I already got a doe with the G5 dead meat V1 here in Tennessee. My brother was telling me about them. He was looking into them a couple years ago. I think it's those. Basically watch them paint dry? Yeah, because, I mean, what you can do is put on, like, a smaller spoon lure or something like that and catch some pike and tiger musky in the process. But largely, you're just kind of sitting there. You're not going to have other fish biting. It's just a, a battle of attrition, more or less. That was kind of close, but we lost our breath when I shot. I don't know if 144 round kills that or not. Have you tried Southwest Virginia? I have not. Train like 40 to 50 seconds? Skill oh, 40 to 50 yards second here with the ball. I see what you're saying. Not bad. Jigging for lake trout. I mean, that's how we used to catch all of our lake trout, but again, because of the way the game kind of used to work, we caught them a lot more frequently. Not that that has much to do with the legendary. How does the tag system work in the USA? Uh, not overly knowledgeable about USA hunting laws. It's different from state to state, but um, from what I understand, like say compared to Europe or Africa, places like that, it is very different. To, so for here in Pennsylvania, which our tag system I'd say is simpler than some other states. Essentially anybody that purchases a license gets a buck tag. That's a statewide tag anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania. You can shoot a buck with that tag legally. Doe tags are management unit specific. So for instance, uh, there's basically like 1A through F or something like that. And then 2A through F, 3A through F. For a total of, I don't know, what does that come out to? 25 management units or something? So if you hunt in 1A, then you'll apply for a doe tag in 1A. And there's going to be a quota for each. Like, I'll actually even pull it up. Uh, PA doe tag quotas. I spelled that wrong. Okay. So, uh, so if you hunt in 1A, there was 46,000 doe tags sold. They're already sold out. If you hunted in 1B, there's 37,000 doe tags. So it's, it's built on, you know, the deer population there and the hunter density. For instance, uh, 2C has 88,000 doe tags. They still haven't sold out. Uh, 4A has 61,000 doe tags. Still haven't sold out. I think 2C has the highest, and then 2D has 86,000. And as low as 21,000 I'm seeing? So it's entirely different from unit to unit. But, uh, yeah, essentially you apply for a doe tag. If they have any remaining, you can get one. And you can get up to, like, six at one time now. It used to be lower. Uh, call sign Viper, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. Two questions. Is Revantuli a good whitetail great one grind map? Should you stack diamonds just the first time I'll herd managing or do it later also? Okay, so I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot about herd managing. I'm going to try to answer that question, but I actually can't promise it's going to be correct. Uh, Revantuli is, in fact, a good whitetail great one grind map. If I were to do another great one grind for whitetail, which I don't intend to, um, I think I would do it on Revantuli. Should you stack diamonds just the first time? Mel says don't stack diamonds. I thought... I don't know how it works, but I thought like if you were really trying to herd manage, I wouldn't bother with it personally. I would shoot a diamond if I see it. But as far as like what people say to do, I think you're supposed to stack them till you get small ones in the zones you don't like or something. Like I said, I I don't at this point I don't really even grind. Um, and I haven't herd managed before, but I think that's how they say to do it. 
Got a diamond piebald moose last night. Is that considered a super rare? Yes. Hello there. It can help push for smaller animals, but I had massive success without stacking. That is very true. Mel got... How many great ones did you get, like, in that span where you really started to hit it hard? Like... July? It had to be... Between July and, like, September, you had to have... I don't know, 15? On that IRL grind? Pretty much. I just... I don't know. I... Like, there's... Certain things that I want more than a great one in Call of the Wild right now, like this stupid Diamond Bobcat that this one is not going to be. Um, and when we have so many other games, like, you know, Classic and Away the Hunter, and uh, I was talking about potentially doing Pro Hunts eventually here, if I'm spending very much time at all on the Great One grind, then I'm not chasing Diamond Bobcats or whatever else. What's up, Clausen? Vanessa's in here as well. Welcome on in. Appreciate you. How do you feel about PA doing the online tags? I personally am not a fan. I'd rather go to the store and get it. Uh, well, the way that it worked with doe tags, as far as I know, you had to send them in the pink envelopes, right? You couldn't go to a store and buy a doe tag until this year, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you could. I've never. As far as I was aware, you had to send in the pink envelopes, which I hated. I definitely prefer the online thing, though they're very late in sending tags. Like... I wasn't super rushed to get my licenses this year because the units we hunted had a lot of doe tags. I feel like it took them two or three weeks to send the tags out. But then I was able to, like I bought Kyla two doe tags for here, like last week at a at our local like bow shop. I didn't think you could do that before. Maybe I'm wrong. Nothing much between grinding classic pretty hard and nailed a nice 279 Ibex. There you go. I miss Ibex hunting. I got my 282 and I just haven't hunted them much since because I feel like I'm not going to top it, but they're so fun. Please play Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunt. So here's the way that I'm thinking of doing it. I do wish I had a bit more familiarity with the game because I, I don't know like when it's going to end or whatever, but... My idea is, I don't know, four or five episodes over the course of a month or two. And those episodes being like 40 minutes long. Like, longer longer videos and less of them. Because what happened when we did, you know, like, uh, Outdoor Adventures, was it? That series went, and it was once a week. But that series went for four months or something. It was just too long. And then... <laughs> It ends Those when you shoot nice Jim Shockey. Want to follow them? I do want to follow them. It's actually why I fast traveled in hopes of getting a Bobcat track. Funny enough. We'll try this way. Help me! I shot a deer in the Hunter Classic, and his trail disappears into thin air. How do I find it? I'm following the possible direction thing, but can't find it. Uh, I'm new. I don't know what to do. Okay. So the first thing I would do is go back to the last track you found. Let me see if I can find a track here, just because the tracking is kind of similar, and I'll attempt to uh, explain what I would do. And actually, there are just no tracks anywhere. I just want the tracking cone so I can explain what I would do. Killed level 9 bobcat today, trolled by point two. The worst. Bobcats shouldn't be allowed to troll. It should be literally illegal. So what if, like, somehow this was a thing? Huh. I didn't hear it hit. New England again, indeed. But this time it's because it's the closest place to PA, and it's kind of a celebration of real-life hunting season, so why not? Longest great one, moose grind? I don't have a great one, moose. Uh, I topped out at 4,200 kills or something and just got bored. Alright, that should... That should get us a track. Oh my god. Big mail. Yes. Gonna get the 44 treatment. Maybe. Guess not. T 
10 months on Medved for my moose, around 5,500 kills. Does that mean you got it or you're still on it? <laughs> the great one. There he is. Holy. One day I'll find a way across here we can talk about that classic question. Picked the worst spot. Didn't play any other maps till I got it. I didn't even know you got it. That's awesome, man. Does the New England map look like PA? Eh, kinda. PA in the fall. Alright. So, you, let's say this is your last track. And you've got this cone here. The first thing I would do is go out basically 90 degrees to what direction, what direction the track says it went in. And run 100 meters or something. If you can't find the track, go back. 90 degrees in the other direction. Run 100 meters. Look for it that way. I would then probably do something like 45 degrees on each side. Because the most likely thing is that deer turned somewhere. It's possible that it turned and did a 180. It can take a long time to find that next track. It can be really annoying. But if it's a, a big deer or something you really want to find, it can be worth it. What's up, Jeezy? I do, in fact, remember you. Favorite reserve on Call of the Wild? It remains to be Leighton Lakes. A lot of it's like, you know, nostalgia. It's hard for me to go on Leighton Lakes and not just, you know, kind of wish for the good old days. Wish I could go back to that feeling of, like, complete unknown with the game. Because I think it's generally understood, like, a lot of stuff now about the game is understood better than it used to be. That mystery of, like, you know, back in the, uh bow hunting for a diamond series Th those of you guys that have been around for like five years may remember that it was always just like what are we doing wrong we're not finding diamonds why and we'd kill like all these big gold moose and stuff and then we finally did it then we got one with the recurve you know all kinds of stuff like that simpler times kind of what have I missed so far anything good uh nothing specific to speak of a couple of pretty crazy shots that I've been happy with Skill issues. Hunt Parquet Fernando, we actually just did a video on Parquet, what, this past weekend, I think? What was that thing? Smoked. So, I somehow have a super rare Gemsbuck before a Diamond Whitetail? What's your super rare Gemsbuck? I feel like, now that they, they have multiple variations that are actually rare, like the dark variants rare now. I guess there's more options, but for a time, gold was the only one, I think. That raccoon still hasn't died, by the way. Just A to 44 round. Game was definitely more fun back then. I mean, any game that has a complete aspect of, like, unknown, mystery, anything like that, I think the replayability just lasts longer. You're bound to eventually, you know, learn some mechanics and understand stuff and some of that mystery as that goes away, I think it you lose some of the mystique, but I don't know, I'm still playing. Didn't exactly plan on finding twelve of these guys today. A male dark oh a male super air guns that's even better. Back in the 200 scoring giant whitetail days? What, the legacy, the legacy racks? Those were good times. I I think true racks has been a net positive for the game. There's certain ones like whitetail, blacktail honestly too. Like some of the, especially the big diamond true racks were just so cool. For a decent amount of time on Call of the Wild on console and never got a diamond and then hopped on my friend's map and got like 3 in 20 minutes. That sounds about like Call of the Wild. That was 80 meters? Oh. They're all literally the smallest possible males too. Any plans on playing the new Call of Duty in two months? Uh, not for me at least. I think the last, like, 
a shooter game of any kind I played was probably PUBG. Like, well, when I played it consistently, I bet it was 2017. The last time I actually like booted up the game and played, maybe 2019, 2020. Steam will tell me. Maybe longer ago. Oh no, there it is. 2019, yeah. I'm too old and I don't have enough reaction speed for those games. Pretty much comes down to that. The hunter is a shooter? Yeah, but nothing shoots back. So I don't have to have the reaction speed. Weirdly enough, I can do okay on Madden, but I don't think you need reaction speed to that. I think a lot of Madden is like... Half of it's cheese plays, which I hate cheese plays. So, there's that. But, uh, I think more of it's like... Not reaction time, but reaction decision? I don't know. Do you have any latent coyote guides? Because I want to get a coyote trophy. I don't think I do. Honestly, I couldn't. If I went to Leighton right now and you told me, go kill five coyotes, I bet it would take me more than two hours. I don't know almost any consistent locations for coyotes. Oh, hi. I do believe we have to shoot you. Or you. Eh, that's kind of far. Don't think we'll get that with the pistol. How old are you? Took me a second. 26. <laughs> Officially old. Should bow hunt on Nez Perce? I meant to bow hunt on Nez Perce last time we were there. I was really confident one of those four stars was going to make five, and none of them did. Uh, so, you know... Maybe next time we go there, we'll do a bow hunt. I'm trying to like commit, and I, I think the Melanistic Moose is the one I really want to age. I'm trying to commit to one of the maps that we currently have a rare on and just get it aged up and, and take it out. Because my problem is if I keep switching between Transylvania, Nez Perce, and uh, Aurora Shores, none of these rares that we have are ever going to get to their max age. somehow finds a two-tone 50-50 rag great one moose. The worst thing is because we're on New England, my first thought would be like, oh, hack server. And then I'd remember it's single player. The amount of great ones I've seen on New England. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Like, you know, we've been doing this bobcat hunt for God knows how long. And um, a lot of times I go into multiplayer because I get a little bit bored hunting my own map in single player over and over and over again. Rolled that coyote, by the way. And like, I don't know, 30% of the servers I join are hacked. Topple. Want to see that Melamoose grow? I'm trying to remember if I ever got good up close footage of him. I think I need to do that yet. Or, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just push to get him to age. I, I think that's exactly it, Mel. I think it's because it's not a map that says hunted. And I think their perception is that they're getting away with it. As if EW or anybody cares if you hack. Like, I really think they choose a map that less people hunt because their their thought process is, yeah, I'm less likely to be reported or something if I do it here. Because it's not, if you were, if you really wanted to hack a map with three great ones, you would do Layton. Layton's a better map. Oh, I don't know. Why don't we go up to these fields? One of five coyotes? True. Four coyotes to go. Only diamonds I care about is Minecraft diamonds. One of these days. Maybe an April Fool's video. Hacks are bad on PC, I'm assuming then? I wouldn't say they're bad necessarily. It's like specific to New England. I can count on one hand the amount of hack servers I've run into other than New England in the last like two years. Are these targets? Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen these. Look at this. Got a goofy deer. <laughs> a duck. Moose smoking a pipe. A very regal goose with a cigarette. And a scared rabbit. Well, I know what we have to do.
Five for five. Right in the eye. Right above the eye. Right in the dome. Right in the eye. Ooh, right below the eye. That's amazing. I can't believe I've never seen those. I think I spawn here a lot. Speed shooter, it felt like it had to be. It had to be fast, otherwise it would have been too easy. Uh, when they did rev, they missed an awesome opportunity to be able to put three great one on a map with moose, white tail, and red deer. As weird as it is, I think they get a lot of complaints about red deer being on too many maps, so that might have been the reason for keeping them out. Nice little Easter egg it is, I like it. I always feel guilty when I take a diamond or rare from multiplayer. I don't think you should though. Like, I don't see those kind of comments anymore either. But I remember, you know, back in the day, and again, like, when I was in my apartment and did nothing but just play Call of the Wild because I had nothing better to do, I definitely did have more videos with, like, crazy amounts of diamonds from multiplayer. But I would get a comment every now and then, it's just like, you're literally just stealing diamonds from people. Like, if they're willingly hosting multiplayer, I don't think you should feel bad about it. And the other side of it is, a significant portion of the time, the host has already left, and you're not stealing anything from everybody. That animal is going to be on the host map too when they play again. And you can never know if the host is actually there. When is the ambush pack being added? Is that the name of the one with the collar and stuff? This month sometime. The 10th? Oh, I thought they were talking about the way the hunter thing was the 10th. Well, don't mind me. 10 10. The single most annoying comment I ever get? What about that one guy that likes your voice or whatever it was? <laughs> I've seen so many hack PC servers and it always makes me sad to see what people are doing in the game. Yeah, the hack stuff, it always, you know, myself ending up on a hack server, it doesn't really bother me like twice ever, well, maybe three times ever. Have I shot something? been really pleased about it and then realized it was hacked it usually doesn't take me long to be like oh this is this ain't right i actually didn't even shoot the last one i found but i got a max weight bobcat track tracked it spotted it level nine and it was a mellow and i was like hold on a minute that ain't right so i picked up a couple more tracks great one whitetail track right next to it obviously hacked the only other ones i can remember i was having a really just absolute slog of a hunt on Silver Ridge Peaks, couldn't kill anything, joined a new server on multiplayer, and there was level 5 pronghorn. Nothing crazy. Shot it, looked up the hill, four more level 5 pronghorn in the next herd, like, ah, well, guess I'm not going to claim that. The only one I've ever claimed was a diamond mountain lion. It wasn't really all that special. But the problem is, with hack stuff, uh, a lot of people do get their hearts broken by because they'll kill, like, you know, something crazy and post it in Discord. And a lot of times, like, the chat is visible in the bottom left, and it's like, dude, there were seven more diamonds shot. Like, that, that server's hacked. And it always, you know, it sucks to ruin someone's day, but you also want them to know that it was on a hacked server. Uh, Redneck J, thank you for the 53 months, by the way. Welcome back. What's up? Might go out for archery tomorrow morning. There you go. I'm thinking I'm not going to hunt again until Thursday based on the weather. I may try to scoot out tomorrow afternoon, but if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be like 80 degrees. Just a little too toasty. My weather app says... 77? But Thursday's high is 73, and that's where it's starting to drop, so... Probably gonna try to get, you know, whatever... Whatever I can get done around here done. And then worry about hunting when it gets really, uh... Ideal temperature-wise. My fake super rare pale hazel grouse. They just, they're in it to ruin it. What animal should be added? I still think doll sheep on Yukon makes the most sense. Out of anything that we don't have in the game. We've got a number of sheep species. AI wise, like they already have it. All they'd need is a new model. And new horns, because please don't use the big horn horns. The Mouflon ones are good. Yeah, I... I I think that would be the best one to add. A diamond doll sheep would look amazing. What's up, Tyler? 
Haven't watched you in a while. I didn't think you still made videos. You always have me playing this game every day. Still here doing it. And I appreciate you stopping it back in, by the way. Got a beautiful 10-pointer running. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be Friday. No, Saturday. I don't know what your weather looks like, but I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to here. We're looking at, like from today on, 76, 77, 78, 73, 67 Friday, 58 is the high on Saturday. That's a day to catch an early season buck on their feet. I don't know that I'm going to go into, like, my rut spot, but I'm definitely going to hunt, like, somewhere back into the woods where I might be able to catch a buck moving. What? What reset? Why don't I see it? Oh. The 18 point dough. Is that one of those, they call them cactus? It'd be a cactus dough. If it's a dough, a lot of times they don't actually shed that. Sometimes they do. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Friday's gonna rain most of the day? I think here we have 50% chance Saturday. There was something I was about to read. Econ isn't mountain enough, mountainous enough to have doll sheep. In the north, it's kind of mountainous. I think they could squeeze them in there. It wouldn't be perfect, but I think they could fit. Oh, that was what I was going to read. Just curious, what do you think of high fence hunting in real life? I don't mind if anyone does it, like, you know, to each their own. So long as they're not trying to pass off high fence hunting as uh, fair chase or, or non-high fence hunting. I think that's the only problem. Like, when somebody is high fence hunting and they're pretending they're shooting this stuff in the wild, that's that's not good for the sport. That's not good for anything. If somebody wants to spend $30,000 to shoot a 300-inch deer at Apple Creek Whitetail or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> they're making their money. Has there been any more info on the DLC coming soon? I guess it's coming out October 10th. Um, I missed that release date somehow. Are you going to make an IRL video soon? My intention is to have the last video from 2022. I actually shoot three deer in said video. Um, that video I want to have out Friday on the Meat Hunters channel, and then it would be next Tuesday on my channel. We'll see if that works. And then 2023 season, we're going to do in-season videos. So uh, after that video comes out, within a week or two, this season stuff should start. And hopefully by then I get to smoke a deer or Kyla gets to smoke a deer. We shall see. In and out fishing for fun, nice. What multi mount do you want in the game? What multi mount do I want? I'm trying to think of some good models, because I was going to say coyote and whitetail. The coyote models aren't bad per se, but they're not great. What would be really cool? Two moose fighting, I think, for people that have multiple great one moose would be pretty nice. A moose and wolves? Kind of like the bison one. Could be kind of neat. I'm glad we ran through all these fields for nothing, by the way. That was great. Really, really fun time. Uh, let's... I don't know what just happened down there. Let's reset. Smoke on your new grill. Smoke... Uh, what, a deer if we get it? 100%. Definitely the plan. If, uh... Well, not even if. I'm going to say whenever me or Kyla gets a deer this season. We'll still process it at my parents because that's just the easiest thing to do. My dad has a killer setup now. He has like a electric hoist in the barn. He has a chain run through the floor so that... What am I doing? Uh, essentially, once you have it skinned down past the shoulders, you just kind of hook it up to that chain and lift the hoist up and it just skins it for you. He's got a couple of... Uh, you know, like, LED lights in there. It's super bright. For years, we had terrible skinning setups, and now it's just so much faster. So, you know, like my big buck that I shot here, that's the only buck that I've shot not at my dad's property anyway, or the only deer I've shot not at my dad's property. We still just drove with the 35 minutes to there to get it done. But anyway, what I'm getting at is, we would still do all the processing there, but then I'd 100% take, like, a... Maybe a roast, a neck roast, rump roast, whatever, back here and do it on the grill. I'm like addicted to cooking on that thing. 
Got an albino sandbar next to a piebald? Nice. That's pretty cool. How's the hunts going? Uh, you know, considering we're bow hunting today, not bad. I don't know if we're at 20 kills, but we're probably approaching it. Uh, 17 kills? Now, to be fair, a good number of those have been 44 kills. We do have the, the 44 as our sidearm, but still. All things considered, not too shabby. Just shot a jackal and they need to remodel badly. They look really outdated. They, and even when they came out, they always looked kind of derpy. <laughs> like, they just, they're not great. But especially now, you're right. You look at... I mean, Gray Fox is a good example. We just picked up their track. All the Predators, though, from Bobcats to Red Fox, Gray Fox, Coyotes, they are all miles ahead of the Jackal. Did you get a turkey this year? I did not. I should have whiffed on one. Entirely my fault. What do you think I should hunt? Um, assuming we're talking about Call of the Wild? Let's see. What would be a good one? If I had no specific, like, reasonings behind my hunt, what would I do? Ah, we were zero- I thought we were zero percent five. Whoops. I would do, like, reindeer on Medved. I don't know why, but I'm feeling it. Skill issue? A combination of skill issue and prep issue, yes. Do you process the game yourself? Yeah. Um... Never have taken a deer to a processor. It's just something that... It's kind of like a family event as well. During the season, the way that it typically goes, like... My brother got a doe on Saturday, for instance. So, we got it, you know... Gutted, skinned, hung up to cool. I don't know, I don't think we split it in half. Uh, we did all that Saturday night. Sunday morning, I'm sure they quartered it and then they just put it in a uh, basically it's like a walk-in cooler thing that my dad built it'll probably stay there for four days five days on the off chance another one of us gets a deer we can have both of them and then a bunch of us will get together we'll all participate in you know processing it cutting all the meat away from the bones grinding it in the hamburger you know separating the different roasts my dad likes to get like some of the higher quality cuts that some people may keep like you know we'll keep some roasts but not all the ones that you could and then like the other potential roasts my dad likes to like cut them into say one inch by one inch cubes and then can it and it actually is really good that way the hunter doesn't have crossplay it doesn't which is unfortunate because the angler does Kyla just stands there. Yeah, Kyla has not actually uh, done the deer cutting yet. Do you know what areas reindeer can be found for drinking? I would hunt in the southeast and then that big lake kind of center east, but they're pretty much everywhere. How do I get motiva motivation? Yeah. <laughs> motivation to play Call of the Wild again. Uh, it's been a few months since I played. I try to set goals. Like... Whether it's try to get a diamond of, you know, all the different species, or... Sometimes I'll change up a loadout, like, you know what, today I'm gonna hunt with... Lever Action Rifles, or today I'm gonna hunt with nothing but single shots. Just do something different than you typically do. That's how I keep the game feeling fresh. Like, you can tell especially when I'm really like, I don't have a specific thing I want to do. Because usually those loadout videos start popping up, like... Hunting Gorhanka with the smallest possible weapons. Hunting with lever actions only. Things like that. And the result of those, always, is that I just end up having fun. Because it's it's different. It's new. I don't know why I thought that was a level 3. Not even close. Alright. Those deer don't like us. Let's go... Let's go into the mountains a little bit. With our bit of remaining time. Never tried canning ve venison? Sounds interesting. Yeah, um... I could ask my dad exactly what he does. But... Like I said, it's typically, you know, some of the higher quality cuts. Not necessarily, you know, just anything that you might grind up for hamburger. Like pieces of the... 
what is it called? It, Eye of Round or something? Those sorts of things? Because we don't do a lot of like deer roasts. We'll just cut those, like I said, into like one inch by one inch cubes, set them apart, and then I'll have to ask my dad exactly what he does for canning it, because they do all that, but... It's nice to have something... You know, they can basically, you know, you don't have to get it out of the freezer. You just have it sitting there ready to go. We have two cans of it downstairs right now. The thing that my dad typically makes out of it is almost like a uh, Philly cheesesteak type of thing. Like sandwich vibes. It's so good. Not only do we have a couple of cans of it, we also have leftover of said sandwiches in the fridge. Does he can with a brine? I don't think so. I, I uh, Maybe a little bit. If it's, if it's a brine, it's something super basic like salt and something. I'd, I'd have to ask him to be sure, but it, it's it's not super complex. That's not the lake I wanted to go to. No wonder it doesn't look right. Ah, there was a bobcat over there. Does your brother have a YouTube channel? At the moment, no. Um, his real life hunting videos have gone on to this channel and the Meat Hunter channel. He was talking about, and I don't, he may have made one, but I don't know if he's put anything on it. He was talking about having his own channel, like, to make videos, because he likes to go back and rewatch them just to relive the stuff, which is the whole reason I got into self filming and stuff to begin with. So I'm kind of the same way as he is. It just so happens that YouTube is my job. Um, but yeah, he, he wants to, for instance, we've done combined videos the last couple of years. So it'll be myself, Kyla and Isaac all are in the same video. And that naturally removes some deer encounters and stuff. Otherwise the video is going to be 45 minutes long. So, I think he's going to edit some of those videos and eventually put on a channel, but I don't know when that's going to happen. What do you think of the devs adding a sort of fishing pressure to the angler, like how hunting pressure isn't called the wild, to get more people to move than just farming one area the whole time? I, I think that would be good. I don't know. Do people just farm one area the whole time? I don't feel like I do. How do you start a spring buck grind? Oh boy, they don't drink or anything. I guess I would start by trying to find like 10 or 15 good feed zones. That's a, that's a tough one. Man, I thought that was going to be a male. Lame. Any tips to make GM in classic? Uh, other than just doing missions. Turkey is really good for GM. Like Whiteheart Island. I would say because turkey and blacktail are both good. And then you have like potential for group animals. Multiple bull elk, bull elk in the same herd. Uh, the turkeys obviously travel in flocks sometimes. What else am I thinking of? Bobcats are good for GM. Whitetail aren't bad, but they're not as good as blacktail. But always, always look to do missions first. What do you think of the robotic collar? I don't know that... I'm going to use it much. I will use it for some stuff, but I don't think it's going to change how I play the game, really. I wanted it to be closer to how, like, Classics 1 works. Surprise, surprise. I think I've said that a hundred times about Call of the Wild stuff. Smoked. Best way to hunt deer for real life? It's so dependent on where you're hunting. Not even just like what state you're hunting in, but like, you know, is it ag land? Is it, is it a forest? Is it urban? It all comes down to how the deer use that area and how you can access it. And without having a really like specific depiction of that, I don't think that I could really give a lot of advice. So now we're just dropping deer? An hour and 40 minutes into the stream? I guess better now than never. Mods are trash. <laughs> they should have more free stuff to call out, like gun scopes and maps. I think it would make the game better and more fun for everyone. They should add... You know, sometimes when they add DLCs, and they, you know, some stuff, every now and then we'll get a free update. But they probably should add, you know, maybe when they do a DLC with three guns, maybe add some fourth gun that's free just with the update. It would be good. Like, variety in games is always good. 
Next shot. Definitely meant to do that. Oh, I'm using the wrong arrows again. Cool. That's probably why that happened. <laughs> but we'll take it. You know, five stars and weight hunter are more or less rare than diamonds? I think they're more rare. It's hard to tell. It takes me... From, you know... My perception is... It takes me longer to find a five star than it does... A diamond. Like, if I were to play both games... For, say, 50 hours... I would say I'm gonna kill more diamonds than five stars. What's up, five miles? Recommendations for whitetail calls in real life? What I'll first tell you is that calling in Pennsylvania, New York, uh, I'm just naming the two states that I know I'm in and you're in, uh, it's not going to be as effective as you might see in like Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, but it can be effective. I called in the Bladed Nine kind of, sort of, last year. I did call him in, he just didn't come into bow range. I have, and I didn't use it last year because I lost it, but I have since found it. It must have been when I moved. It showed up at my parents. My brother found it. For all I know, he had stolen it. He does steal my hunting stuff. Occasionally, a lot. Anyway, it's called the Extinguisher. It is made by Illusion Game Calls, I believe. They also make the Black Rack rattling system. I find it to be a good, realistic sound. But, I mean, legit, I called in the Blade of Nine with a $10 grunt call. Does a super realistic high quality deer call make the difference? Most times, no. Like, if, if it's the right buck on the right day, you could burp and call it in. Uh, like, the first time I ever encountered the Bladed Nine, uh, I called him in with my footsteps. I was walking to my stand. It happened to be a dry, cold day, so the leaves were really loud. The reason he came in is because he heard my footsteps and thought another buck was coming in. So, a $10 Walmart grunt call is going to call in 99, probably 0.9% of the same bucks as a, I don't know, $50 super expensive grunt call, which that extinguisher, I think, is 30 bucks. But, you know, maybe there's a little bit of an advantage to it. For the most part, though, it's just the buck's aggression and temperament and all that. Where are the AirPods at? Yes. Uh, last I had them was in Kentucky, because I was talking to you on the phone. I brought them back. Are they in the suitcase? That'd be my guess. Favorite brand of crossbow? Uh, what does my dad shoot? It's 10 points, like, affordable brand. What is that called? Bottom boy stole him. I knew it. I knew my pockets were light. Wicked Ridge. My dad shoots a Wicked Ridge and he does well with it, so we'll go with that. What would you think about challenges in the game as a new grind with unique camo slash customization as a reward? So, Call of the Wild just tweeted something like yesterday or today, maybe? Asking, like, what kind of, you know, skins, cosmetics, would you like to see in the game? And I saw at least one person replied under that earnable ones, like what you're talking about. I'd be all over that. I think that'd be great. Well, broadheads to use. So we're sponsored by VPA, that's Vantage Point Archery. This year I'm using their Vented 3 Blades. I used their 2 blade single bevels last year. They're awesome. Um, the buck that I shot with my bow last year, I shot that with the 2 blade single bevel. The only reason I didn't use two blades this year, for one, I did want just a little more kind of cutting surface, but also two blades are a bit tougher to tune than three blades. Obviously, like, the each individual blade on a three blade, because you essentially have, like, an even... You've got a blade here, here, here. You've got an even dispersion of forces. It's a little bit easier to tune those arrows than with the two blades, which you can tune them just fine with the two blades. Anyway... Vented three blade VPA is 100 grand this year. You're in your deer stand. Nice. Hopefully, you have something to not make me loud right now. 
Not gonna lie, the Steelers look awful this year, especially when they can't score on the Texans. Pickett looks like he's out the rest of the season. Last I heard, he's actually, it was encouraging news about his knee. Um, uh, I, I don't, I can't, I can't blame it all on Matt Canada. Like, no doubt Matt Canada has forgotten more about football than I'll ever know. But that doesn't mean he's a good offensive coordinator. It just, there's such a lack of, like, rhythm to his play calling. I, I never understand, like, it was in, it was the third quarter? They were down 16 to 6. Would have been a 51-yard field goal. It's fourth and one. And they, this particular drive, they started to run it really well. And they're throwing it on fourth and one. And Kenny gets sacked, and that's where he gets hurt. And the game's basically over. And I think they didn't kick the field goal because Brad Wing was there. Presley Harvin's hurt, and they didn't have their typical holder. 51 yards with a new holder is not exactly easy. But it just... Everything is just, just feels out of whack with them. I don't think he was I don't think he was talking crap, Kylo. I think he was lamenting about the Steelers like I am. What's up, Jez? Going hunting in Kentucky this year. Nice, Brad, sir. Oh, you're a you're a Colts fan. Okay. I got you. Man, I picked the Colts to win too. I thought they were gonna make that comeback. They were close. But yeah, you're you're right, man. They don't look... They're a team, and Mike Tomlin has has them in position for this to happen more than not, but they're a team where they can afford very few things to go wrong. If they do have, you know, Gunnar Olszewski muff a punt against the Patriots and set them up with good field position. If they do have... What would be... I don't know. Kenny Pickett gets hurt. Trubisky comes in and throws a couple interceptions against the Ravens. They have no chance. They don't have an offense to score a lot of points. But if their defense plays well, and Matt Canada has 70 plays to call, where he can finally accidentally call a couple, right? They win more than they lose. Usually. But I don't know. Who wins the AFC North? I don't know how the Ravens don't. The Bengals are in trouble. The Browns are the Browns. Steelers don't look like they're going to win it. The Ravens look like they have a cakewalk to it. Something about Canada? I think Matt Canada is the biggest issue. I want to know what Kenny Pickett's deal is, because he's missing some open guys. But I, I kind of attribute it to the same thing as what happened to Najee Harris last year. Like, when I, when I watch it, to me it looks like he doesn't trust the offensive line to give him time. So a lot of times he's bailing out of a clean pocket because he thinks he's going to get hit which he has gotten hit a lot, so I don't blame him. The Browns are so good and so bad, right? <laughs> I swear Belichick just sent Gunnar Olszewski over to torment the Steelers. Boy. So, in the last... Uh, so there was the game against the Pats where he muffed that punt. But in the last couple of weeks, and he didn't even play last week, he had a kickoff that was going to be out of bounds. All Literally, he could have not caught the ball that was going out of bounds. All he had to do was put his foot on the line and catch it, and it's a kickoff out of bounds. What does he do? He toe taps it and catches it inbounds. Like, how How's that even happen? And then he also has that screen pass where he gets absolutely leveled, fumbles, and then the Browns fumbled it nine more times. He hasn't done anything good this season when I'm getting that. Bengals will take the AFC North? Man, they're one and three. I just can't... Burrow will, won't be hurt the whole season? I think he's going to be, though. Like, he's going to be limited a lot of the season because those, like, soft tissue injuries, you can't... Like, you can't rest them enough. If he could rest it for six weeks, he'd be way better off. Because one, one cut or something, he's right back to where he was, you know? I, and maybe Lamar gets hurt, but I... One and three is tough. I don't understand why Pickens isn't used more. You and me both, man. They did throw it to him a little bit, and he actually, for once, he wasn't making the contested catches yesterday. But how you don't throw at least five back shoulder... I don't know if it's back shoulder fade. Just back shoulder 
I don't know, 20 yards down the field, down the sideline. He catches it every time. And they just don't do it. I'm Again, I'm sure there's more to it than just that. I'm imagining, you know, his route running maybe isn't as good as it should be. There's something in practice that's preventing him from getting more looks. But you still just got to throw it up to him more than they do. Because he does come down with it. 49ers Super Bowl winner this year? They're the most complete team. So long as Purdy can run the offense. Their defense is really good. They have absurd skill positions. And it doesn't even look like Purdy only runs the offense. He He's not always out there like making something out of nothing. Sometimes he does. For the most part, he's just operating on schedule. That's all he needs to do. What's up, Call the Wild Guy? Saints got it for sure. Didn't they lose to the Bucks by like a lot? <laughs> Any thoughts on the Broncos winning the toilet bowl? Man, <laughs> that game was something else. I did find it hilarious that different like accounts were comparing giving up 70 points to giving up two touchdown passes to Justin Fields as if that's the same thing. Still the boys here? I actually think they're better than the Eagles. I, I think they're going to win the NFC, NFC East. I do, but... They're going to play the Eagles and or the Niners in the playoffs, and one of those teams probably picks them off. Got a javelina tag and a turkey tag. Oh, nice. What should I do? Uh, turkeys in the morning, javelina in the evening? I don't know anything about javelina hunting, though. This is the Niners last year to win it. They have absolutely no money to keep their team next year. They are going to lose some guys. It's a matter of, you know... Do they lose the wrong guys? Which is probably a stupid statement because that's the case with every team, but if they can kind of keep the offensive line together, I don't think they need great receivers. They've got McCaffrey. It doesn't matter who the running back is in that system. They're going to get a lot of yards. They're still, they're still going to be competitive, but I, as far as like obvious best team in the league slash NFC, yeah, I'd say you're right. I wish we could have known Clark. I just wish that that injury didn't happen. Because it, it would have just been... I think it would have been a good game. But we basically have no idea how the two teams matched up. Now, they play in the regular season, right? In the next couple weeks. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. They did. I know. The Cardinals are not as bad as people think. The, I mean, the Eagles almost lost the Commanders. I know divisional game, but the Eagles haven't looked as dominant this year. The Cowboys, when they've won, have been dominant. Losing to the Cardinals wasn't good. I just think they have a better recipe right now. Best map for Whitetail? If you're grinding for Whitetail, probably Revan Tui Coast. Shot a 144 Bantang the other day. Nice. I need to get after Bantang again. Every time I go to Emerald Coast, I get stuck chasing deer and crocs. Not deer in crocs, by the way. Oh, I saw it for a second. I just wanted to know if it was big. Cards were one QB away from being three and one. Is it Dobbs' fault? They had a 20, uh, 28, 21, no, it was 28 to 7, 21 point lead on the Giants. What the heck happened week one? They led somebody. I kind of forget who it was. I don't think it's all on Dobbs. A better quarterback, maybe they get a couple more plays and, and do more to win that, but I guess, you know, <laughs> if it were somebody who hasn't been a career backup, probably they are a little bit better. This year's commanders are significantly better. I mean, Sam Howell did throw four picks against the Bills. So he definitely, he played a lot better against the Eagles. Um, but yeah, the, the commanders are not the same as they were last year. Currently in a Red Deer Great One Ground and have gotten two pie balls, two albinos, and eight diamonds. Not bad. 
We are down to five minutes. Just got a diamond Gems bucket. It was my first diamond. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Alright, 85 yards. Wind's pretty, pretty favorable. Well, I tried to get the dough too. Lions are going to make the playoffs? They have, I mean, they certainly have the team to do it. And the coach. Did the Steelers win the game? They lost, they, yeah, I mean, uh, they won by negative 24. They lost. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> they lost so badly I couldn't even say that they won by negative points correctly. Any diamonds yet? None today. How many diamonds do you have? Um, the number's incorrect. It's off by 300. 1,127. friend wants to get an albino lion? I'll tell you what, they seem to be pretty rare. I've been after another one for years at this point. What, Danny? Diamond bourbon in the day on a shad. Nice. I'm jealous. Eventually that alert will come through, but I saw it. One of my classmates from high school now plays on the Packers? Really? That's cool. Is it a name I'm going to know? I hate this lake troop. Yeah. Lions of the Super Bowl? Hey, listen, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them right now. It is also possible that they go back to being the Lions and just for some reason lose six games in a row, but I kind of think they've actually turned that culture around. Dontavian Wicks. The first name I've seen, like, somewhere, but I can't tell you I know what position he plays or anything. Sidewinder is a late truth. He is indeed. Can business things bug? I know Kylo was talking about that the other day, and then she was in a server where somebody caught it. I think it's just he moves around and is really annoying to catch. Uh, oh my god, that super chat just came through. Good thing I read it. Chiefs aren't doing great this year. They aren't winning as dominantly as you might expect them to win, but they're 3-1. He's a wideout. Okay. You think the Falcons will make the playoffs? I'd have to look at their schedule. Where did they place in the division last year? Because I know the Bucks have a first place schedule, which they're three and one actually. Uh, I'm thinking Saints are gonna have the second place schedule. So Falcons were probably third. I would have said like before the season, if you asked me, I'd have said yes. Desmond Ritter needs to make a play though. That or they gotta get Heineke in there because they are capable of going to the playoffs this season. With just a little bit of QB play. And frankly, Ritter hasn't delivered on that much. Kind of a little bit in that Packers game. But other than that, it, there just hasn't been enough. Colts will definitely make it to the playoffs. The AFC's not as tough it, as it was expected to be. I think that I thought the Titans were going to win that division. I think the Jags are going to win it. The Titans may have something to say about second place in the South. I think two out of the AFC North get in, and I think two out of the AFC mm, West, maybe? <laughs> AFC East almost certainly, so somebody's going to get left out. It may well be the second place in the AFC South. Browns D is near elite. The offense is just inconsistent. Yeah, it doesn't help when you don't have your starting quarterback, obviously, but even when Deshaun's in there, he has some... Some serious rust that he hasn't shaken off. The Vikings are horrible. Hey, they won. They almost lost to the Panthers, but they won. Could be worse. Barely, but it could be worse. Yeah, Clark, I, I think regardless, they're probably going to be in the championship game again. They may not win it, um, but I think they're going to be there. What was that? Maybe that was that raccoon? Not going to believe me, but my dad coached Tyreek Hill in track when he was in high school. I can believe it. 
I have no doubt the guy ran track. <laughs> I saw it. It was a very small estimate. So it could be a good last kill. Is that it all the way up there? Drops down a little more than I thought. Oh, just about lived to fight another day and then he stopped. Did you play like a boss for us and we're really feeling his absence? He hasn't exactly played like a boss for New England though. I guess it helps when Mahomes is your quarterback. He is a good receiver. He's not a number one. But put him in the slot or like give him a compliment across the field to draw some coverage. He's a very quality number two. Played against Johnny Football in high school? Are you in his documentary? <laughs> I haven't watched that yet. Got a piebald raccoon. I've had two separate blonde piebald tracks in multiplayer, and they always just disappear on me. I've never killed one. I've had an albino raccoon. Never any of the piebalds, and I want one. Anyway, I think we're going to grab this lad right here that just about escaped us. And that's going to be our last kill, so... A nice 5.48 that somehow we didn't hit in the lungs. And did we get the 20 on the day? We did. A little bit more than 20. Not too bad. Who's worse, Broncos or Browns? Broncos are definitely worse right now. Anyway, that's going to do it for this stream. I, as I said, since I'm not hunting tonight because it's very warm, I'm going to get some stuff done around here so that I can hunt later in the week when the temps drop off. Friday may be a day we try to hunt, but I think actually since I stream 1 to 3, we should be fine. The stream time on Friday should be the same. Still going to be a classic stream Wednesday night, and uh, hopefully I shall see you guys there. So as always, thank you guys for watching it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support, and I'll see you also in tomorrow's video. Best of September montage. Bye!